this video, I'll show you how to create a pivot table where the data is stored in multiple tables. Here we have a list of orders, and for each order, we have the date, the product, the price, and a code that represents the store where the product was sold. The range B2 to E83 has been converted into a table, and that table has been named orders. There's also a separate table in G2 to I7, and that table is called stores. And that table lists for each store, the number of employees at that store, the name of the store and the code. I need to produce a pivot table report that combines data from both tables. I want a list of the store names and I want the total revenue for each store and the total revenue is generated by adding up the figures in the price column for a particular store. So as you can see, we have the store names in one table and we have the prices in another. But those two tables can be linked together because we have a store column and a code column and the information in those columns, although the column names are different, the information in them is the same. I'm going to start off in the store table. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the first column I want in my pivot table is the names of the stores and they are coming from the stores table. So with my cursor in the stores table, click on insert pivot table, leave the table or range for the source data set to stores, and select where I want my pivot table to go. I'm going to put it starting in K2. Now, the important thing here is that you tick the box that says, add this data to the data model. So when you want to pull data from multiple tables, tick the box, add this data to the data model, and then click on OK. And drag store into rows. So I've now got my list of store names. As I said, to get the revenue, I need to add up all the prices. But I don't see prices listed there because I'm only looking at the headings from the stores table. To get the headings from the other table, click on the link that says all at the top of the pivot table fields. And it shows me all the tables in this file. Open up the orders section and drag in price into values. Now, looking at that, that's not correct. It's unlikely that we'd have the same revenue for each store. And the reason that it's given us that is because we haven't set up a link or a relationship between the two tables. To create a relationship, click on the create button over here. And in this case, I need to select orders and stores. So I'm telling it which two tables I want to link together. And I've already explained that I'm linking the two tables together based on the values or the data in the store column matching the data in the code column. So select store from the orders table and select code from the stores table and click OK. And now it has updated.